Okay guys, thanks for tuning into the channel today. I thought I'd pull up at this old church and we'll start today's run on the um, factory high versus low windscreen. At the moment I've got the low windscreen on. Hopefully this will be a better go. I'm running that um, GoPro chest mount, the chesty one. I've raised it up compared to yesterday's video so we'll see if that's any better. And uh, we'll just spin this bike around here. and flip the lid lids down engage and we are off let's ride get this bike running look look at the pickup already i'd have to say i did a really nice job on that that valve adjustment for a adjustment for a a first time hit uh, I just can't get over never done anything like that at all first crack at it and this bike is really running sweet now um, once again I'm running the low screen today's the day we're going to try both not really good condition so I have to really raise my voice because there's a bit of wind whistle over me uh, on this low screen at the moment I'm cruising at 90 We'll run her up to 100. Okay, we're on 100 now. 60, 60 mile now. We're close to it. I'm really not getting any wind in the face. I'm getting wind whistle either side of the helmet. And uh, this will only be all legal speed out here because this is where the mobile radar station or the mobile radar unit parks out along this road and I don't want to run into wind for any bad reason. You can hear the wind whistle either side of the lugs. Not bad over the head. It's a lot better than compared to if you had none at all. It looks nice and deep when you look over it. So let's say if you compared this to having none, it's a lot better than none. So as far as this little one goes, it does the job looks nice yeah, so what we're going to do is pull down a little bit further and I'll do a change don't know how long that'll take but we'll do a screen change and then I'll ride it without so yeah, there's a couple of good potholes so I'm riding at 90 now we'll run her up to 100 so I'm on 100 now makes no difference I think a lot of it I'm not sure that helmet whistles have had a lot to do I think with how good a quality helmet you're wearing and I wouldn't class this as a good one but what I can say here this bike of mine runs well I don't really rant with that valve job I've done because I've been riding me 250 L then got on this one and this bike just flies a lot so there's a little area up ahead I can pull off, ride along the track a bit, get off this main road with no risk of um, any cars belting me up the back side and I can do the change up there. So I've got a car on my tail so I'll give them an indicator sign now because you know a lot of these cars don't take much notice but they are slowing down so here it's always good good to give them plenty of notice especially on a motorbike and it's a really sharp corner anyway this is a little uh, side road we're going to go up and I'll do the change on up here there was no water here at all on this little crossing going back for a week but look at it now totally full of water <laughs> There you go. So there you go. I'll just run down this road a little bit and find a spot where I can pull over. And we'll do a screen change. Somewhere, oh anywhere safe along here, but somewhere just where I can get off the road a little bit and do the deed. 
but like I said, I'm really um, wrapped with this interceptor at the moment. It really is running right. You don't realise how good a bike they are till you've been off them a while. I think I could pull over here under the um, uh, the shade of the coolabar tree. Well, there's no coolabar trees here, but there's a bit of shade. I can pull up over here. Oh, jeez. I didn't realise how wet this ground was. Yikes. There you go. Well, hopefully that will show you or give you a bit of a look at the low screen factory Royal Enfield low screen on the bike. What I have to do with and do these four bolts here. Remove the small screen. Take this stainless steel, I'd say, lining off. So I've got me new screen on the ground. Almost got me old one here off. I've got to take both pieces off to fit it, so all I need is to put those pieces down there. Take these two and whip them back in place. So back short, the screen's on. Just about to now tighten her up. Uh, just to make sure I adjust it properly. We're looking at the big screen, so if you look at the other one, it was around that four fingers in height. This one here is almost double. There's nothing wrong with the look of that screen either, so you don't want to fall off. Before we head off, you can just have a bit of a look, hopefully this is lining up. See the bike there with the high screen. You might even notice my new radiator grill. Haven't left anything on the ground, so that's always good. Okay, we'll get on it and try it out with the high. See it sitting up high here at the front. Slice it down. Engage. I was on the uh, CRF 250 last couple of days and put up a couple of hundred kilometres and you don't appreciate how good the slipper clutch is on this bike until you're on the 250 and you come back to and you come back down through the gears and uh, partly lock up the back wheel and then you know how good the slipper clutch is on the 650 or this particular 650 so apart from that well a bit of a dangerous corner but okay we'll bring her up the speed Okay, I've been quiet for a few seconds there. Very hard to say, really. I always thought the high screen was far better, but it almost feels the same. I think what I'll have to do... is maybe run up and turn around. And go back down the same direction. That may be the best comparison, but I think regardless of what other people think, either one of them seem all right. Just personal preference. But once I would have said the the high screen far superior, but I don't know. I think it's a toss of the coin, and whatever one you like. I actually had very good results with a inch screen on a classic 500 so um, and it's done a very good job so it is windy out here but I think the best bet would be to turn around up back up here 
swing back but uh, I'm now starting to believe it wouldn't matter what screen you buy you should be happy with either one of them compared to no screen if I turn around here go back down there pull the screen off and ride with none we'll call that a I can turn here bit of a touchy road but no one behind but we'll go down to that other turn off just hope I've got enough to do it we'll check that you're a handful in second they've got that pick up really good Third, fourth, fifth, sixth. I really don't think now it matters what one you go for, whether it's high or low, and just they both sort of um, do the job. Just so we can do this test and complete it. Once I get around this bend, I'll cut the camera. Get down here pull that screen off and then I'll ride without it ok guys this is the final of the test high screen has been pulled we've already so we've tested high screen we've tested low screen I've got mu not much room left on the SD card so maybe a, now a run up along the road now to see with no screen at all does it really make a difference we're back at this intersection no screen on the bike Now it really feels naked. Okay, there really does feel a lot of wind blowing on me now in all directions. So, from this part, I can actually feel the wind blowing. Doesn't really make a difference. The answer is yes. Not a, it is, it's a windy day, but it's not usually windy. Now, could you live without it? Yeah, you can live without it now after running it like this. Is it better with it? I think it's slightly more comfortable. Does the bike look better with it on? I think it looks a bit more sportier with it on. But overall, the bike runs fine with it without may be totally different on a big run you know if you're doing three or four hundred kilometers but overall my way of thinking of you know if you bought it on eBay like I did and it only cost you 80 or 100 dollars you can see it's pretty easy to pull on and off because I've done that on on the fly actually on the road that was no big deal personal preference probably put the little one back on for a while because it looks a bit sporty on the bike I don't mind the big one either so seeing I've got both it's a hard call that way but I think if you were saying to me which one should I buy well I don't think it makes much difference just whichever one that you like the best so uh, I couldn't notice that great deal of the difference between the large and the small maybe if I got into really windy conditions it may be better but it was a pretty windy day today when I tested it and you know like I thought I, I thought the higher screen would have been a clear winner but either way whether you got no screen, high screen, low screen you've got wind noise regardless so uh, and taking into account I haven't got a really expensive helmet either so uh, it might be totally different the helmet I'm wearing, using today is the uh, cheaper one not the one I bought when I bought the Honda CRF 250 L a couple of weeks ago so this head helmet's not the um, good one that's a real quieter helmet and that might have been a totally different result too if I was wearing that helmet but it's harder it's a harder helmet to mount the uh, speaker in compared to this one so that's why I give that one a miss on today's test but it's about whether you want to spend 80 or 100 dollars and buy one of these on eBay 
Uh, I think if you buy it that way, you know, what can you do with 80 or $100 Australian? Not much. So uh, I think you got your money for it. Well, I hope you found this a bit of an interesting test and it's been some help to you. I found it pretty good as far as knowing that... Um, that my bike's running really well. Really good acceleration. And uh, that part of it's been worthwhile to come out and do this and hopefully seeing I've moved the camera up a little bit more we can see a bit more of the road and a bit a bit less of the uh, chrome tank and gauges or I could be out doing it again but if you ask now well, I've been running it with it there am I going to put the fly screen back on it yeah of course because I think it looks better 